I'm so scared to go to this party. I don't know. Oh, don't worry. I've been to hundreds. It's really fun. Uh, I guess I could trust you. Hey! Hey, I'm really so pissed now. It's off the hook. Yeah. It's hissing from our school here. I know. It's pretty alright. Wait, Lily, come here. Oh, wait, I'll be right back. Get ass over here, woman. No, don't go. Oh, yeah. no, I'll be right back. Oh. Damn, girl, how'd you get all that? You talking to me? How you doing? <laughs> alright, thanks. How's the party going for you, eh? It's okay, not that bad. It's not. You wanna get some drinks? Well, okay. I'll give you some to right back. Yeah. She's not my friend Chris. You go, go, friend. Oh, I don't know about him. I heard so no. much shit about him. No, he's good. Nah. He's hot. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, look, he's coming. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's go. Matt! Don't leave me. Oh, God. Here's a drink. I don't drink, thanks. Come on, it's good. I don't drink. Keep in the mood. Just one. Just one. Maybe just one. So, what's your name anyway? I'm Steph. I'm Chris. I know. Yeah, we can have Sam, he's popular right now. Who? Who are you? <laughs> 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 Teenage Troubles. Today's topic is teenage pregnancy. Our guest speaker today is Dr. Cindy Pan. She'll be talking to us about teenage pregnancy and what is teenage pregnancy and what are the choices out there for girls that are pregnant at the teenage age. Hello, please Hello. take a seat. Dr. Cindy Pan. Um, what are you here to talk to us about today? Well, today I'm here to talk to you about teenage pregnancy and the effects and the options for girls going through this horrific event. And how long have you been working in this industry? I've been in this industry for about 10, 10 years now as a doctor. Do you see many teenage girls out there that go through this horrific event? Well, there is many girls nowadays that are going through this and they need support and care and I'm here to talk to you today about it and what options and everything we have. Okay. Um, how does teenage pregnancy start? Well, teenage pregnancy can start with alcohol consumption, um, having too much and not knowing what to do, also by um, boyfriends um, pressuring into the um, young girl to have sex, um, also rape, um, and also um, having uh, a baby because like to hold on to the partner to um yeah so yeah, there's something to, yeah there. like to see like by having a, having a baby um that they think that like it's like grabbing their partner yeah, yeah, like yeah. they can't and keeping yeah. they can't go away from them yep yeah what are the complications for teenage pregnancy well teenage um women generally encounter more problems during pregnancy and childbirth than older women the reasons for this are because physical like they're physically immature um, they have a lack of healthcare knowledge. They um, smoke cigarettes. Most of them do. Um, they have a lot of alcohol consumption weekly. Um, social drugs, poor diet, yeah. and and high levels of emotional stress. Um, uh, how does the uh, the teenage partner deal with this? Um, you know, like this situation. Yeah. Um, in nearly 25% of cases, the partner actually doesn't have any idea about the pregnancy. Um, most teenage women um, believe that child would have a positive effect on their relationship, like bring them closer together, yeah. um, because most young girls are confused. But um, most of them who choose to keep their child um, will live in hostels with the father and their child. Yep. What are the social problems faced by teenage mothers? 
Well, the social um, negative attitude of being a single parent in Australia has really dropped over the last couple of years. Many teenagers believe that looking after the baby will be the happiest time in their lives. This is um, true for some, but keeping that may have unforeseen consequences such as reduced education and employment options like their career and their dreams are all gone. Um, poverty, um, increase of mental health issues like depression and um, even for the um, child when it's um, older, getting confused. Increased risks of um, child abuse or neglect. Um, the children may not receive proper social guidance so the child may not know how to act when it's younger because it wouldn't have um, maybe a father or something to yep. look up to. Um, the child is more likely to become a teenage parent themselves. Yeah. What are the options out there for teenage pregnancies? Well, abortion is one of the top ones. So 16% of younger women um, are teenagers who seek this. Um, there is no real age restriction on abortion as long as the woman has a clear understanding of the procedure. Um, adoption, um, not many have adoption anymore as much as they used to, um, but the demand for babies still exists. Um, there's foster care where the child lives with a foster family until the teenage mother feels ready to cope with the, um, with the care. Um, there's parenting, which is um, just looking after the baby, um, since, um, yeah. Okay, and um, how do we prevent teenage pregnancies? Um, well, just because a girl may be on the pill or um, something like that doesn't mean she always has full protection. 85% of um, girls are actually on the pill who actually get pregnant. Um, it's always a good idea to have extra con um, protection, such as condoms. Um, this can also help prevent um, STIs and STDs and other nasty infections. Yeah. Um, I hope this helped many teenagers out there that are going through the situation. If you need to know any more information, please go on the website below, www.drcindypan.com.au. Thanks for being on the show today. I hope this um, like helped people um, know the options out there and stuff. Um, yes, it's been lovely just being on this show and um, you've been such a beautiful audience. Thanks everyone. Thank you.